Hello and welcome to another episode of Backer's Corner. Uh, I am Matt Heaton and I'm going to talk to you about a tune today called Pole Hay Penny. It's a hornpipe, it's in A, <laughs> and uh, we are going to discuss some ways to back it. Now there are some tunes that are easy to back. And if you have been at it for a while, you kind of you can kind of guess what chords are going to work. You know, there's a, you can just kind of feel it out, and 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 things will make sense. And then there are some tunes that you that just don't do that. And and this would be one of those. So you, it, I, I always, this is a really good one. If you're going to play it, you really got to know it because it's just going to be a disaster otherwise. So uh, there is, if you don't know this tune, I would suggest that before you listen to this, you uh, check out Shannon's video uh, in which she teaches you how to play the tune. So that is that would be linked down below. But the so the basic thing here is, I would say the tune I, I said it was an A, <laughs> and the reason that I'm I'm not really committing is because the tune can't commit. The uh, here, here's your A. The the tune starts in ya da 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 da. Oh, you're like, oh, it's A minor. Da, 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 da. You know, the perfect A minor, right? But then the very next phrase is... Um, da, 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 da. So it, it has a C sharp all of a sudden. Like within, I don't know, a couple bars. Da, 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 da. This does not sound anything like A minor. Uh, so one thing that I do a lot in this tune is I avoid um, I avoid the third in the A chord. Uh, so you could do a, a first position version would just be to play, you know, your basic A chord is that if you just kind of play the two fingers and stay away, you know, I'm muting that second string. Here, let me turn on this thing and see if it helps. So it's open, two, two, mute, open. Da, 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 da. Could be major, could be minor. Uh, and then it does, when it does the da, 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 it really lands on that G pretty strongly. Yeah, da, 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 Right? But I actually feel like it, it goes, goes to a D in between. So what I feel like the first couple chords are, D, then G. And then it goes, kind of stays on A. Um, so let's try it from the beginning. Right, and that's all a major-ish. You could play, you could play it, you know, a third there if you wanted. Then. Does that and da da dum very D major da ba dum then in, in, then there's a long note on the F sharp a long note on the E and D so you have three blind mice in the melody uh, I kind of like to do that in the in the guitar so I rather than just playing da ba dum da be da da ba dum like D A D. I like to play a, like a D over F sharp, and I'm putting it on the fourth fret. Right? So from the top. Then and then back to the okay 
So the whole A part. Yum. Now I'll show you the voicings that I tend to use on this. Um, I use a high, and this is my favorite A chord up here. So it's on the seventh fret. You got your open A string, seventh fret another A, ninth fret an E, tenth fret another A, and then the open E string. All right. So that's that's again. There's no no thirds in that. So it's major or minor. So da ba da ba da da. Then for a D chord, I just lift, I leave my pinky down, I lift up the third finger and put it down on the um, seventh fret of the third string. So another D, there's a D, so it's open D, I, D, and an A. And then for the G, got the G, G note on the um, what is this? <laughs> Seven, eighth fret on the second string, and then an open G. You might, you'll probably hit the the D below it too, but that's okay. So back to that A. Now for that little D walk down thing with the F sharp E D, um, I'm I slide up to here. I'm on the. Um, So that's on the 11th and 10th fret. And so you're just going down on the third string. So it's slower, it's um, 11 and 10, then 9 and 10, then a shift. 7 and 10, and then a back up to 9 and 10, and then back to the A chord. So what that all looks like... So same same harmonies just in a different place. Now the B part starts out with a with a very very um, emphasized G note. And I think there's a little passing C natural in there again, which again hints back at the uh, A minor. Something like that. So you could go But something about the playing a G there never really uh, sounded as hip to me. So I this is a, a move that I stole from um, Dahi Sproul uh, on his his backing of the Abbey Reel on that great recording with Liz Carroll, where he goes to the minor five chord, in this case the E minor. Da 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 Still has the G in it. So it's like two bars of E minor, two bars of A. And then thank heavens the end is the same. So it, you're actually not adding that much in the B part. It's uh, E minor and then A, uh, and then the A. The the last couple bars are the same as the end part of the A part. Uh, my voicings up here. I play the E minor seven. With this, which I which I love. This it's um, open E, seventh fret E, mute. But if it sneaks in, it's okay. Seventh fret on the third string, and then. 8th fret, that's your G note, on the 2nd string. Right. 
So this this voicing is really, you know, like that, just without all the bar chord nonsense. Right? Now, the rhythmic approach I take on this tune is very different from what I might do on, like, this is not like a jaunty hornpipe. This is like a kind of spooky hornpipe, I think. Um, you know, so I'm not going to go like, like, like I would on, on a happy one. So I kind of tend to do a lot of uh, just strumming the offbeats. Um, and then when there's more motion, I hit the downstrokes. I kind of I keep it a little sparser, I suppose, um, and and let let those chords ring out. So uh, I hope I'm going to turn off this thing. Click. I hope that I uh, hope this is helpful. And uh, if so, or if not, or if you have questions or or anything, just you know leave a leave a little note in the comments, and uh, I will see you next time for the next episode of Backer's Corner. Mm -hmm.